okay so this is a very simple growth algorithm technique if you need something to grow over a surface or a geometry to grow over surface let's see how to make it it's inspired from Steven Nipping uh, if you're learning Houdini and if you just started Houdini then I would suggest you check him out so let's just drop a geo node and let's take a primitive for example grid you can take any primitive just for example purposes I'm taking grid and we need to scatter some points so we'll just take a scatter node let's take 100,000 points see those points now we need to create a group let's make a group node Now here you need to define where you need to start your infection or where you need to start your surface growing. You can take in the center or you can take at the edge. Let's take at the edge. So we want this group to run over points. Select a group. Select this and press enter. And we'll name this group start. Now we'll just drop a solver node. What a solver node does is it it calculates whatever has happened in the previous frame and calculates the future frames in accordance to the previous results. Let's make an attribute which we need to transfer uh, we'll take an attribute triangle we have to define the attribute which needs to be transferred i at the rate infect equals one over the start group we'll take attribute transfer Connect both these points to attribute transfer. In source group, we'll choose at infect equals one. The points that have the infect attribute will be the source group and we'll run this over points. And the points that do not have the infect group will be the destination. we'll run this over points also and we need to select all points so we'll just type the star e over here let's drop a output node now to visualize this we'll go out and drop an attribute triangle and in that triangle, we will create a color attribute at CD. P is capital. And we'll set it. Set is a function basically which is used to define color. And inside that, we'll choose at infect, which is changes when the value is 1, comma 0. Zero. Let's over here. The point has turned red. So now if we play, we can see kind of a simulation that is growing over the surface. The points are turning to red from black. This is a very simple growth effect now we can control that growth effect using the distance threshold the more the distance threshold is the more faster the transition will happen the less the distance threshold is the more the slower the transition will happen okay. so this was the first part of the tutorial so moving on to the second part 
now we have this effect but what more can we do with this effect like what if we want an edge an outline of this transition we need to create an outline so what we can do is we'll go inside the solver node and drop an attribute value in the first point we'll connect the attribute transfer and in the second point we'll connect the previous frame i'll tell you why because over here we'll need to check what is happening in the previous frame so basically how we can calculate the edge of this transition is we need to check the points that are currently red but were black in the previous frame so those points will be the edge of this effect so how we can calculate that is we need to create a new variable called edge now the name can be anything but just for simple simple purposes i'm taking edge i at edge equals now we'll need to compare between the previous frame and the current frame so the previous frame will will connect over here and the current frame which is red will connect over here now in this we'll say i at infect which is the current frame is not equals to now to access the previous points we'll need to use the point function so in the point function we need to type the geometry node which it's connected to so the geometry node it's connected to is 1 how we calculate that is these nodes are basically numbered 0 1 2 3 so it starts from 0 so this node is connected to 1 so we'll type 1 comma the name of the attribute in double commas and point numbers which is at the rate pt num when we do that we'll need to visualize it through a color how we can do that is we move out and in the attribute triangle the cd attribute we'll need to set at edge now we can see an edge which has a different color So now we can uh, separate those with the blast node. So if we want, uh, for example, we want the transition. So take at in effect equals one, and run this over points. Uh, delete non selected. if we want only the transitions so we'll just let let's just duplicate this instead of infect we'll type edge separate the outline of the effect and the whole effect itself i hope you understood if not then shoot me a comment uh do like and subscribe that's it for today